Hey guys, your girl Steffi Joe, and I'm back with another haul video. I know, another haul video, but recently I took a trip to New York City for two weeks, well, 12 days, same difference, and I got some stuff. Things I cannot find here on this island, and here we go, haul video. So I had to break the haul videos down to two videos. This is my drugstore and beauty supply store stuff haulage, and then a separate video for my high-end beauty stuff. Let's get started with the drugstore stuff because there's a lot we need to zip through this. Let's start off with hair stuff. I picked up a baby girl's curls curling and twisting custard. I kind of have a little bit in this hair today. This stuff smells good. It's seven bucks. You get a whole tub of it. It's like a, a gel custard and it doesn't leave the hair crunchy. Like it just holds the curls perfectly until you know you mess it then it fluffs away but otherwise I tried this on one of my best friend's daughter's hair it looked beautiful it worked beautifully with her curls and I was like I need some of that so I got me some of that next up from the beauty supply store I picked up flexi rods but not just any kind of flexi rods let me try to show you guys these flexi rods close in on themselves like you see that little black tip it closes in on itself like I had to I was like yes the only problem with flexi rods is the fact that you have to bend the end and just all that work now you can just close it in on itself from Target I needed a new makeup carrying case actually I didn't need one I carry my makeup when I'm traveling in like two or three separate baggies all my toiletries and makeup and I am kind of tired of it so when I saw this thing it's like a cosmetic caddy I was like this actually makes sense four individual cart um con compartments cartments compartments and each one you could take out so and they and they're long so i feel like i could put one with brushes one with my makeup one with all of my body care and one with all of my you know my toiletries like my uh toothbrush toothpaste things like that but yeah i picked this up from target and it rolls up like this and even if you don't want to roll it you could just lay it down in my suitcase flat like that picked up it. these are my favorite makeup remover wipes as of late so these are the yes to tomatoes clear skin acne blemish clearing facial wipes say that five times fast these are makeup removing wipes but these have a salicylic acid in it which helps control acne and pimples and it cleans my skin amazing, like take all the makeup off, all of it, except for my eyes. So I'm trying the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Sensitive Skin Eye Makeup Remover Pads. When I use makeup remover wipes, I still use my Clinique uh, Take the Day Off, this is my travel one, and just to take off the eye makeup, because I find that if you rub this on your eyes more than like twice, it starts to burn, and I don't like that. Like. No, I'm not about that life. That's why I got these to test out. Next up from the drugstore, skincare wise, I picked up a backup to my Vichy Nordderm Acne Prone Skin Triple Action 3-in-1 Cleanser. It's a cleanser, scrub, and mask with salicylic acid. See a little pattern here with me and salicylic acid? We aight, right, we homies. I first tried this in St. Well, not in St. Martin. I purchased it from St. Martin and it was all in French. All I knew it was acne cleaning and it was a three in one and it was a face mask. And I was like, you know what? At that point, my face was so bad, I was willing to try anything. And it helped a lot. My face was squeaky clean. I was using this almost every night, like every night right before I showered. I would take my makeup off and would put this on and I would go make me tea and I would just walk around for like five minutes. It would dry, jump in the shower, wash it off. And my face was super clean. And it helps exfoliate because it has little beads in it. So I've been using this ever since, I, I shit you not, this is like my fourth or maybe even fifth bottle of this. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, I should have picked up two. I picked up two things from Embryo Lease. The Embryo Lease Le Cream Concentrate. I hear makeup artists around the world love this product as a moisturizer before they, you know, apply your base and primer. I hear amazing things about this product. You could see it and Google it. You see a lot of makeup artists use this. I am dying to try this product out um yeah and then i saw they had a hydro matte emulsion one so i assume this is hopefully the same thing as this and oh this is a makeup primer yeah. children and baby care okay okay i'm real least pick both these up from target 
and this is for freshness care. I don't even know what that means, but yeah. So hopefully this is like, a, it looks like the Becca Ever Matte Primer. It's in like the same container. All right, Amber Elise, are you trying to tell me something? You trying to tell me something? They're like the same container. Anyway, so this is the Hydra Matte Freshness Care for normal to mix skin. I hope this would help mattify my keep my oils at bay. I know I said I was going to give up trying to keep them at bay, but summertime is upon us. It's coming. And you have to be ready for my oils. I have to, I'm trying to fight, trying to fight the good fight so I don't look like grease ball everywhere I go. Can't be cute and with a fresh beat and then look like an oil slick across the T-zone. So now I'm gonna break up the rest of the items from a beauty supply makeup to the uh, drugstore makeup. Uh, let's see, from the beauty supply store, I picked up two sets of lashes. These are the Flare lashes. They were $4, well, $3.99 each. And they're gorgeous. Like, hold on, let me see if you guys could. Like, they are gorgeous. They're nice tapered ends. This is like a very sturdy eyelash case. I was like, okay, La Flair. Ruby Kisses. I picked up a brow, a Go Brow brow kit because I told you in my Valentine's Day makeup look, I was looking for a good brow kit. And this has a wax, a light brown brow powder, and a dark brown brow powder. This is in Rich Chocolate Brown. And I was like, yeah, I need a new, I, well, I need a drugstore alternative. Um, stick to Ruby Kisses. We have two of their eyeshadow palettes. This is the Big and Beautiful Longwear HD Color Eyeshadow Palette. This has gold and, as you can see, like gold and, well, different shades of gold. And the other one is the Better Naked palette. And this is like the same thing, but just darker color. Right. So I picked up five Ruby Kiss Cream Luscious Triple Butter Matte Cream Balm. So I'm guessing like this is Ruby Kiss's version of the NYX Buttercreams. And I think I got a good variety that I could do a quick swatch video. And yeah, I got a red, I got a mauve pink, I got a purple fuchsia, I got a dark plum, and a nude. Aren't these pretty? Wine break. I'm going to go ahead and start with the NYX stuff. All right, so before we do the NYX, I picked up another Fawn backup from my LA Pro Girl Concealer. This is just a backup. And now the NYX. I picked up the NYX HD concealer in the color, what color is this? CW08, Nutmeg. I hear great things about this. I keep trying it on the back of my hand. It's a very nice consistency. Like it blends right into my skin, so then it's gone. <laughs> but I mean, isn't that a good thing? It's not sticky, it doesn't look, I've just heard good things and I can't wait to try it. So pick up another concealer. The NYX Gotcha Covered Total Waterproof Foundation Concealer. This reminds me, the packaging and the idea of, reminds me of the Makeup Forever, of my Makeup Forever Waterproof Concealer. I like that um, concealer, I actually love that concealer. So I'm wondering if NYX is a good dupe for it. If it is, I'll let you guys know. This one I haven't tried yet. I picked up a NYX Brow. Kit. This is in the color dark brown. Again, I told you I'm looking for a good affordable brow kit. And last but not least, I picked up the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. A tiny little bottle. Like I could travel with this if I like the product. Now we're out of the beauty supply and we're going to dive right into the drugstore things. No, it's a Mac bag with drugstore stuff in it. I know, I know. Confusing much? Picked up two brushes from Japonisk. I picked up a crease blending brush, which looks like, who it looks like a regular crease. This reminds me of like a shorter hair version of the Mac 224 brush. Or yeah, it looks like the 224 brush, but just the hairs are just a little shorter. And the other brush is a cut crease shadow brush. It's another blending brush. It's white hair. It's like Japanese, Japanese, what's this glue? Version of a 217, but with longer bristles. Like these just 
wee bit longer. Where's my 217? Like, this is my matte 217. Oh, they're the same length. I lied, so I guess this is Japanese version of a 217. 217 is a little flat and wider. This one comes to a nice tapered end. Also, the Japanese is longer. I don't know if you guys could see that. Back in the bag. Let's start with two Jessie Girls pigments. Pick the color Sunstone and the color Cafe Ulate. They're pretty much gold pigments. Beautiful reflex in them. I hear great things about Jessie Girls products and I decided to just pick up two loose pigments. Maybelline, I picked two of the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. One in like a berry color and one in a nude. So far, I don't really like these. In New York, the, the was it Rite Aid? No, Dwayne Reed in New York sold Le Bon products. So I picked up three of the Meat Matte Hues lip, liquid, long lasted liquid lipsticks in the color Committed, which is this nude color. In the color Sentimental, which is like a, a berry red color and in the color Devoted, which is another berry color, but it's not, oh no, this one's the red color, yeah. Devoted is, yeah, Devoted is more red. Sentimental's more hot pink berry, and Committed is, committed? Yeah, Committed is the, like the more nude color. Yay, so now for fun stuff. We picked up a Vera Mona foundation, or Vera Moore, sorry, a Vera Moore foundation in the color Caramel. I haven't heard anything about this product. It's, bare, it's rare that I even find reviews for it. And they have a great shade selection for us brown skin babies, like, as uh, Ruth would say. But they have a great selection for us brown skin babies, like, a great selection. They have at least four colors darker than this, minimum. Like, we're starting the color caramel and I also decided to scoop up the powdered foundation version and this is in the color classy brown comes in a compact no sifter powder and you know a little poof underneath it last foundation I picked up from the drugstore is the pure foundation now, I tried this in New York and I loved it I mean the color deeper and this foundation, y'all, it comes in a glass bottle with a pump. Like, I actually legit use this. Like, can you see that? This impressed me incredibly. Um, this is definitely going to get a review on its own. This is the Pure 4-in-1 14-hour wear liquid foundation. Picked up a eyeshadow quad from a brand called Imani. It's 100% vegan, talc-free, and paraben-free. And it's a quad, it's a beautiful quad, well no, it's a trio, sorry, with like a red, a green, and like a peachy gold. From the brand Sienna, I got three eyeshadows. I got the eyeshadow in the color Camel, which is a matte, which seems to me like a transition color. And then I got the color Destiny, wait, no. And then I got the color, yeah. Destiny, which is a sparkle. I think this one I could not walk out the store without. Like, I was just like, oh my God, I need this in my life, which is this beautiful sparkly purple color. And last from Sienna, the color Vixen, which is a metallic color. Oh, open, please, thank you. Look at that. This reminds me of Glisten, or maybe even, no. This reminds me of Pink Champagne from Anastasia. Everything else in this bag is from Galactic. Kind of went a little Galactic cuckoo. Pick up three of their star shadows in the color Sable. Just like this. It's like a, it looks like my skin tone. I feel like this would be a good transition color or maybe all over lid color. Depends on how that applies. Uh, the color Skin. So that, yeah, this one would be a good transition color because it is like skin. I mean, look at this. 
and the color pearls. These shadow, the packaging for the Galactic, this is the color pearls. See, it's like a little lighter than my skin tone. These, this Galactic shadow packaging, top notch. Guys, not even gonna lie to you. I want sparkler crazy. I wanted sparkles. I wanted glitter. I wanted in on the action. So I picked up five of their pigments and one of their the black base, I believe. Yes. One of the black, the black star base from Galactic. Mmm. Say it with me. Yes. So it's the black star base. It's just like a black. I guess this is the black eyeshadow base for the sparklers. And I picked up five of the sparklers. Yeah, I went there. I picked up every single color I saw there. I was just like, I've never seen Galactic in a um, drugstore. And I went ham. This is the color white gold. And as you, it's just a white gold. Yeah. Then there's the color antique gold or antique gold, which is a little more yellow than the yellow or yeah, a little more yellow than the, than the white gold. Then the color, let's see what's next. The color champagne, which is more like a rose gold to me. Yeah, it definitely looks more rose gold to me. The color silver, which is, you know, silver. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very pretty silver color. And last but not least, the color gunmetal. Which is like a blue, silver, sparkle, glitter, pigment. Dang. And that's it for my drugstore haul. I know, I OD'd. I went in. But more content for you guys, right? That's my excuse. If there's anything that I showed or showcased today that you guys want to see in specific, please let me know down here in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.